Hello everybody, I'm Nicole from the Halliburton County Public Library and today we're going to be doing closed pin or closed peg designs. So here's my examples done with closed pins and here's what you're going to need. Okay, so you'll need either closed pins or closed pegs. Um, I'll be using closed pins. You'll need hot glue sticks, a hot glue gun, and you can also choose to paint the designs afterwards so paint if you so desire and that's it okay so the clothes pins are a lot easier to do a lot of different designs with that's why i'm using them in my video today um clothes pegs i used them for nutcracker in the christmas ornament video it kind of limits what you can do but you can still use them for the designs okay so let's get started okay so as mentioned i'll be using clothes pins instead of pegs the closed pegs, a lot of design options center around how well you can hold them steady in that. So these are new ones. You can also reuse if you hang your clothes aside and if you're like me, sometimes the pins actually come apart as you put clothes up or take them down. Um, so you can use those pieces of wood that fall apart. So for today's, you're going to take these apart. So all I do is kind of twist it, slide it out of the metal. I do that for each individual one. My clothes pins are apart. So now you can kind of decide what design you want to do. My examples here, you can see I did kind of two different ways. So um, this one here, I have two put together like this and glued together and then put the design and they're just kind of flipped around. This one has all of them like this. So it's one and it just goes right around. So the designs, the designs that I have done are trivet designs. So things that you can use to put hot plates, kettles, dishes on. However, if you do this design for trivet, which is what you put something hot on, beware of what you put on it. So if you paint it, it may burn the paint sometimes depending on how hot the dish is. So just be aware of that possibility. Um, so I'm going to do another basic trick design so you can see how I'm doing it and then you can decide how you want to do it if you want to do a different design or different shapes or whatever this is just so you know how to do it so I have my pieces here I have some hot glue sticks and my hot glue gun is ready to go so depending on your design for this design I'm going to be doing the shape of the two glued together so I'm just going to go through and glue each one like that. You don't need a lot, um, especially if you're doing this as a trivet design. Try not to put too much on because it will leak out and if you put some hot on it, it may reactivate the hot glue. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just seeing how well it's fitting. A lot of the shapes will be roundish or no flaky looking or starry. Um, so I'm gonna do two different designs for you. So this, this is gonna be 
my first one, it's going to be pretty simple. Um, if you're doing this to set something on and you want it flat, do it right on a flat surface. If you get bubble, like uh, a bubble hot glue, you can take an extra one and just kind of scrape. Bubble off. So I'm gonna let this sit for a second just so hot glue can finish cooling before I move it. Okay, so I just give it a little turny twist and it will be pretty smooth. Anything stuck to my table, I just kind of peel off with my nail. So that is my very basic trivet I'm going to be doing. The next one is more of a creative design type thing. Um, so bear with me as I make this. Okay, so if you haven't figured out what I'm making, it's a very, very ugly kind of fake flower holder. You can't put real flowers in here, because it's wood. Um, so I am going to give this a quick paint. Um, another option with painting is that you could actually paint it before you glue them all together. Totally up to you. Um, I am just pulling some of the strings off right now of the hot glue. This could also be a very weird trash can, but I don't know. Totally up to you what you want to make. Um, I don't know if you can tell through the speed up I did of the uh, process of me doing it. I changed my design about two to three times. Um, the one I originally was going to do didn't work out. And then I just kind of went from there. So, okay, and I'm just going to paint this in here.
Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for that to dry and then I'm done with that. So like I said, I changed my design there a couple times. Um, you can do basic trivets designs. You can actually decorate these to look like flowers. Um, you can do a trivet like this and complete it. I ran out of um, clothes pins there. But you can do that and then give it like a sunflower design. Put a stick on it and you have a nice wooden flower you can put somewhere. So it all depends on how creative you are, where your imagination takes you. There's a lot of different possibilities, so. Okay, so that's the craft. As I said in the video, you can do any design, any shapes. You can make a very weird looking fake flower vase that kind of looks like a trash can. I may just use it as a trash can. <laughs> but it is totally up to you. I just showed you how I did it how to get the different shapes and that. So have a great day.